Good morning, everyone. Stacy here. Today is moving day. We finally got a nice sunny day to be able to move. My friends and family have been helping me the past couple days pack up and get down to the new place, but today is goat moving day. So I want to show you a few things on how to transport your livestock and make sure that your trailer is roadworthy and a couple safety tips. Wow, that sun is bright today. I'm gonna try to stand in the shade. This is the trailer I bought a couple years ago and I outfitted it for my goats. So let's show you what we got inside here. It's a regular horse livestock trailer. It's got a dividing gate. The goats have all their own shells again in here to hang out on. Up here in the front, I left the shelf way up high, not for the goats, but to be able to put their food and accessories. There's also this divider gate to help separate the goats when we're traveling. I've got this mouse hole divider between the back and the front so the little goats could escape from the big goats if they start picking on them. Usually you want to put down a layer of pine shavings or hay on your trailer. We're not going to do that today because we're only traveling about an hour and a half away. Here's a tip. When you're done putting down the pine shavings, come in with the hose and just mist over everything. That way the sawdust doesn't kick up and get into the animal's eyes. Another thing you could do is maybe take the trailer around the block once or twice to get all the dust blown out of the trailer before you load it with your animals. When I bought this trailer, I bought it used and I noticed that it was rotted and rusted down here towards the bottom. I found out that's from not mucking out the inside. When you let your pine shavings or hay build up inside the trailer, it'll retain the moisture and rot the sides. This trailer's been sitting here for about a year, so we definitely want to check the air pressure and make sure that the tires aren't rotted. One of the very last things I load up are the medical kits for the goats. Just in case something happens, I have easy access to them and they're not blocked in a bunch of stuff. Hi goats, are you ready to move today? My dad just got here and he's gonna help me today. Hi dad. Baby cow. <laughs> you see the baby cow? Yeah. So one of the reasons my dad is here is to help me when I drive down to the new place to keep space between my trailer and the car behind me. He's gonna go behind me to make sure that nobody comes up and tailgates. Please don't tailgate horse trailers or livestock trailers. It's very dangerous for us and for you and for the animals. Now I've gotta load up the trailer with some goat incentive. You guys ready to go? One last look around. This is always the hardest part.
It was such a beautiful drive to the new place. We saw donkeys, alpacas, other goat families, and tons of horses. So here we are, made it safe. Just dropped off the trailer. So we're gonna go take a look around real quick and then let the goats out. Come on out, goats. Oh, Buttercup, were you holding it for a while? Okay, here's your new place. It's actually bigger than the barn. Look at that, it's way bigger than the barn. Come on, goats, come eat. And good morning everyone. Yesterday everything went well with the move. We got the goats here safely and unloaded thanks to my mom and my dad. It looks like it's going to be another beautiful day out here today. This morning we're going to go check on the goats and make sure they settled in okay and that they're doing good. Hi goats goats. Good morning. Everybody's doing good so I put them out in the field. Happy. Say hi to everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. He goes rolling in the hay. Is that what that term means, rolling in the hay? Remember to. Re Happy, what are you doing? Remember to subscribe and come back and check for new videos. I've got a lot of work to do here now. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> 